How was that, baby? Fun. Your eyes feel all exercised? You were working hard, huh? Yeah. So we just got out of Renee's vision therapy. We call it eye school. Um, and we're gonna run a couple of errands. I thought I'd bring you with me. Um, we're gonna, the restaurant supply store is close by here. It's, uh, it's called US Chef Store now. They've changed names a couple of times. Anyways, um, we're gonna go over there. Uh, there's only one thing I have in mind that I need, but it's always fun to shop around and see um, all the options. It's a, lot, it's a great place to get meat if you wanna get meat in bulk for a little bit cheaper. Uh, so we're gonna go there and then I might need to run by Costco for a couple of things, but I have not decided yet. Uh, we got to get some meat for making jerky. That's a nice thing to get here. New York strip for eight, sixty-nine a pound. That's not too bad. Beef mm. crop inside round. Um, yeah, you can. This is the main part of the store that I shop. So you can get a strip loin, six thirty nine a pound. That's not too bad, but you have to buy it like this and um, cut cut it yourself. Ribeye, nine eighty nine. Ooh, you need some tongue. You want some beef tongue? No. You should have brought your jacket, man. Tenderloin. <laughs> New York strip. This I is the, no, you got to stay with me. This is choice. You know, uh, the strip loin was. Is it choice also? Uh, I can't tell. Doesn't say. Leg of lamb. Tri tip. Um, let's see. So what I want is this. It's pre-sliced. So um, I make jerky with this and I don't have to pull out my slicer, which just makes life easier. So I'm gonna get a couple of these. It's so cold. I know, it's so cold. Maybe I'll get three just to do a giant batch. This is a big one. All right, I know it's cold, let's go. Pork belly, four fifty nine. Pork cushion, pork butts, dollar ninety nine. Let's see, beef brisket is on sale, I guess. Did you survive? I feel so. Or did you get frozen? I'm frozen. You're frozen. They have some options like frozen sausages. But I've not liked those as much as the ones from Costco. There's also big, big things of sausage like that. Other meats. You can get pickled eggs if you want. You can get pickled sausages. Yeah, have you ever had a pickled egg? A pickled egg? I would like pickles to start with. Yeah, you probably wouldn't like pickled eggs then. And definitely Levi wouldn't. Pickled sausages. What is this? Gourmet cream of coconut. Yeah. Let's see what's in it. Oh, coconut sugar, glycerol, all kinds of stuff. Weird. Never had that before. You could get a giant can of coconut milk. Whoa. Let's That's see. a big pack of no, it. has citric acid and Whoa. sodium. Mom, it is is something or other. What is this, Mom? That's coconut milk. Coconut milk. That's a kind of a cool can. Yeah. Interesting. That one has stuff added too. Mm. Organic coconut milk, unsweetened. Has organic guar gum. It That's not no too eggs. bad. That, it has no eggs. It's coconut milk. I don't, I still don't want it. Yeah, that's fine. I I have another brand I like. Um, let's see what else. No, I need coconut aminos to make the jerky for my husband. 
And I didn't think they'd have it here, but I thought I'd check. No. So that's what I need to go to Costco for, see if they have it. Need a bucket of sausage gravy? Bucket of sausage. Do you need a bucket of sausage? No. Hollandaise sauce mix. What's in it? Oh. Whey protein, cornstarch, palm oil. No thanks. Also a great place to get seasonings in bulk. They have lots more on the seasoning aisle as well. Once again, today's video is sponsored by Element. Element is a really big supporter of my channel and I'm so very grateful that they make it possible for me to make free content for all of you. Element is an electrolyte supplement. I use Element every single day. If you watch my what I eat in a day videos or my vlogs, you see it constantly. Supplementing with electrolytes has been a really big key for me in my keto journey just to make sure I feel my best. And I've seen so many benefits from supplementing with electrolytes, but still my number one is that I sleep through the night. I don't have to get up and go to the bathroom multiple times. And of course, sleep feeds into so many other aspects of our health. So for me, that has been a complete game changer. Element currently has a special deal for all of my viewers. You can get a free sample pack with any order off of their website. The sample pack contains uh, all eight of their regular flavors. So if you want to try all the flavors yourself, or if you want to share a pack with a friend who might be interested, it's a great way to do it. To get this deal, all you have to do is go to drinkelement.com slash indigo. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T.com slash indigo place your order for anything on the website and they will throw in the free sample pack for you thanks again to element for sponsoring today's video heading into costco not for too much um just a few little things not enough to do a whole costco haul video but we'll bring you along anyway these archer minis are on sale until the 24th i'll grab one more i still have a few at home but those are meat sticks they're little mini meat sticks. Uh, I want to have one meat stick and if we get a banana, I want to have one banana. You want a banana and a meat stick, like in the car on the way home? Yeah. Okay. Sounds pretty balanced. I have been needing new dishcloths, and last time I was here, I could not find them. Are these cotton? Yeah, 100% cotton. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead. 15 bucks for six. What color should I get? There's like the say. Oh no, that's gray. And there's also the green, and there's the blue. Green. Maybe we could get one of green and one of blue. Yeah. Or should we get one of green and one of a neutral color, like gray or black? Uh, I think blue and gray. Blue. Uh, Green and blue? Uh, yeah, green and blue. Okay. Oh, it has two dishcloths and there's six towels and two. We can look at the Christmas aisle. We'll get those and if I really like them, I might come back and get another pack because we use so many dish towels in our house. There is. That's the cutest little piano I've ever seen. Are you going to be a DJ? I want to. You want to, yeah. Of course. Because that's a DJ mixer. We're back home now, and I wanted to show you what I had for breakfast. It was a pretty minimal breakfast because we were running out the door uh, first thing. Of course, I had my coffee with uh, my MCT oil powder in it first thing this morning. And then as I was running out the door, I grabbed a chopstick and carnivore crisps, the ribeye. I ate my chopstick and I ate about half of the bag of the um, ribeye. This is what Renee grabbed because she was in a hurry. So she grabbed uh, chicken breast, which is her favorite. Actually, I think the pork loin is her favorite, but then second favorite is chicken breast. So that's what she had in the car. Um, and it is, it's only 1130 now. And since I ate a pretty tiny breakfast, I am pretty hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and get cooking. I have some pork chops in the fridge. I think I'm going to fry one of those up real quick. Okay. These are the pork chops I got. Look at how fatty they are. Like, doo! um, pork shoulder chops. And I'm just going to go ahead and cook up both of them. I have some onion here that needs to get used up. I think I'm just going to chop this up and have some sauteed onions with it as well. Just going to season with Redmond seasoned salt. Not the prettiest of lunches, but uh, it's going to be really tasty. 
It's about 5 p.m. and I am getting ready to make dinner. I had these chicken thighs that needed to be used up um, and I'm going to air fry them, but I always prefer chicken thighs without the bone so much more than with the bone. And so I'm going to debone these. I find it easiest to do with kitchen shears um, and then I'll keep the skin on. So it'll be like crispy skin on the top, but still a boneless chicken thigh. Oh, they're so good. I think I'll probably... Um, I think in Redmond season salt would probably be the best unless I think of something else. So I'm going to get these deboned and then start moving them through the air fryer. If you are wondering why I needed new dish towels, I'll show you. This is, um, my current dish towel collection. Some, some notable, uh, examples of what's going on <laughs> with my dish towels. We, um, we really use them and these ones were from Costco too. Um, so anyways, these ones are going to be going into the rag pile. Well, this one's still almost whole. Yeah. Anyways, it'll be nice to have some decent dish towels around here. Just keeping it simple with the seasoned salt. Um, and when I cook these, I don't flip them because they have the skin on the top. I just want that to get nice and crispy. Um, I should season the other side of them though, but I probably won't. Maybe I'll do that on the next batch. Um, and I cook it in the air fryer 400 degrees for like, I forget if it's some, somewhere between 12 and 18 minutes. We'll see. This doesn't look super appetizing, but it is the end of a strawberry cream keto chow core um, that I didn't finish the other day. And I'm really hungry and it's got about 15 minutes left on those chicken thighs. And I'm just gonna sip on this um, as an appetizer and then have the chicken thighs when they're done. All right, we got 15 minutes. What do you guys wanna do? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside with the ball? Maybe with a ball? Yeah? Okay, right, let's go. Here's what I served myself up for dinner. Um, I don't know. Sometimes it's really hard to tell like how hungry I am. Sometimes I'll get into a plate of meat and get, you know, partway through and be totally done. Sometimes I'm hungry enough to finish the whole thing. So um, I will see how far I get with this. And if I eat it all and I'm still hungry, I will get more. Decided to go wild and add some avocado lime uh, sauce or dressing um, just for some extra flavor. This is dairy free avocado oil based. Um, so just for some flavor. And you are breathing so loud. Is that really necessary? Only made it through two. I can never get a moment's peace, never. Not one moment of my life has peace because of these two. You'd think it'd be my kids. You'd think it'd be my five kids, but no, it's these two. At least they're cute. The last thing I'm having for the evening is a Keto Chow hot chocolate. It's um, just like a quarter serving of Keto Chow Core. And then for the fat, I used a scoop of the Chocolate Perfect Keto MCT oil powder. Um, so it's very, very chocolatey. And this will be the last thing I have this evening.